Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at printing this. So uh, I reached out again to you guys, the viewers, and I said, hey, what would you like to see printed? And uh, several, of you, several of you, I'll spit that out, wrote in and said, hey, how about a Vinoy diagram? I think I got that right. I don't use that word every day. Uh, so, anyways, if I didn't, I'm sure somebody will correct me below. But, however, I thought this was a very interesting challenge for the JG Aurora. So, again, I'm using this out of the box. I've only leveled it. I haven't tuned it or anything. And uh, so, when I went looking for something, I found these chess pieces. And, uh, hey, I thought I used a pawn and the other one would upscale it and go a king. And it was a nice size. This is about a four-hour print on the uh, JG Aurora. Not sure I totally did everything correctly um, in the slicer because I printed it as a regular object. I don't know if I could get away with a, a, a vase type mode. What do you guys think? Can you do a vase on this? Because it's not continuous, but anyways, took about four hours to print. Uh, printed this 0.2 layer height. Um, infill was about 15%. Uh, probably could have gone down to 10, but I stayed at 15%. Uh, I did do it with a little bit of a uh, brim at the bottom just to make sure it stayed stuck to the bed because, again, the surface area. And uh, it went to town and uh, actually, I think, came out very good. Now, retraction, again, I haven't fine-tuned retraction on this. Um, and you can see a couple different pieces here where, you know, I think I think a little bit better retraction and I think slowing it down. Now, I did this at 50, 50 millimeters a second. I think if I had slowed it down and I think if I would increased retraction settings now, uh, I believe I used 4.5 millimeters, 50 millimeters a second, 2 millimeters travel distance uh, to uh, for retraction. Uh, I think I'd have to play around a little bit with this to kind of fine tune the retraction and uh, get some of the pieces out of it. But all in all, I, I'm really impressed with the way this turned out. So tell you what, let's go watch a bit of a time lapse of this being printed. It's going to be probably about 30, 45 seconds. Now, also in this time lapse, what I'm going to show you is uh, from one of the inlays will be from the camera mount. I know a number of you said, hey, Joe, what about, you know, how does this look? Well, you guys will see how it looks in this. So, and again, I've shot it from a couple different angles so you can kind of see this being printed. So let's head over to the time lapse. Okay, welcome back from the time lapse. So you saw the time lapse is being printed. And again, I'm very impressed. Let's see if I can't get a close up of, of this top and everything, but very nice detail in it. All in all, very nice detail. Again, I could clean this up a little bit better. Now I did, you're probably asking, Joe, what's this printed out of? It's PLA and it's glow in the dark PLA. So when I turn the lights off, this king is going to glow like it's nobody's business, which is really cool. So uh, I thought this would be kind of cool to sit on a shelf somewhere or something and have it glow at night. Uh, anyways, you know, so again, and one of the reasons I, I share that joking aside, I, I, I don't know, at least with this particular PLA filament, I've, I found it to be a little bit tougher to work with now. Uh, I did print this at 210 degrees uh, C. Uh, and again, if I, I, I would probably, if I was fine tuning this, maybe bring it down a little bit more to get a little bit better form down here. I think if I would have been at 200, 205, um, I'd get a little bit less stringiness in these openings. But again, I'm just printing right out of the box. So again, no fine tuning, no nothing. Because again, what I'm really trying to do out of some of these, uh, you know, test what are, what's Joe Average, not Mr. DIY Joe the Hacker going to get out of this. But if Joe Average buys this, what can Joe Average expect? And here you go. This is what Joe Average can expect. And I think this is pretty good. And again, I think uh, 
you know, if I fine-tuned a few things, uh, I could get this super good. So again, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the way this came out. So let me know what you think with the way that this came out down below. And again, I have shown some, you know, zoom-ins and things like that. And you'll have seen, you saw it printed. Um, so anyways, in the time lapse, let me know what you think. Again, comments below. Don't forget the subscribe button. Oh, swag shop up there. Get yourself some swag. Great stuff. So again, see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.